You're not gonna believe this condition. You know what this is? No, are you gonna tell me? This is my watch, that, and I worked my ass off to get this. Oh, on camera too, nice. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, my brother. Okay, before we do these, I wanna know about that. So how long have you had that for? Had this for about two years. About two years? Um, the funny story on this, I got it from a guy who owed me some money. Uh -huh. So this was his collateral. Okay. And um, I, he owed me like 25 grand. Okay. So uh, this is, what would you say? Probably. Um, I don't know because with these special dials, especially that's being a Tahitian mother, white mother, pro, if you want to get a close up on this here, that's a Tahitian white mother of pearl dial. Um, do you know what cereal it is? That's probably going to be like a, let me see, like a peak or something like that. I could pull it up. Let me see, let me see. It is, it, it's an M cereal. So that's a, like an, around the 07. The owner of Rolex actually released, I think it was like five or six watches in platinum on a leather strap. And one of those just sold at auction for a very high ticket. Really? But it was a Zenith, so it's the previous model of it with the old movement on it, platinum on a leather strap. The five pieces that I mentioned are known as the Rolex Famous Five, and there were five Zenith Platinum Daytonas on leather straps made for Rolex's CEO. I found three out of the five. Can you guys find the other two? So oh, it kind of so gives it I'm in the money, that, I'm in the money. <laughs> it it kind of gives that vibe to it, so it's a very, very nice watch, man. But no you, have, you have some sick pieces here. And on this piece, man, this is, this is exactly how you do bust down. This is a factory piece from AP that is it, insane. It has like this sunburst out, goes from orange to like almost white on the edges. Do you know what retail on this piece is or no? It's so Re hard to find it information. It is so hard to find, dude, there's only two there's only two others for sale right now, at least on the retail market, obviously coming from a retail consumer. There's two on the market. One's in Dubai, they're looking for 310. Yeah. The other one's in Singapore, they're looking for 306, man. So it's like, dude, as far as this bust down goes, bro, I feel like it's very undervalued. I feel like if you see a celebrity throw this on, the market on them gonna go crazy. You got rubies, you got the sapphire rubies, you got rubies, sunburst dial. It's, it's a crazy dial. This is a, this is a crazy piece. So you want to consign them is what you want to do, right? I do. I know we were discussing that you want to be around the 200 mark, which yeah. I think is a very, very fair price, especially like what you said, because um, you know, Chrono 24 isn't the most realistic place to get an ask. It's more of an asking price on it. Yeah. So I think that's a very fair number on this piece. You have the papers with it as well? All papers, pull that out. I got all the papers. Open warranty card. Open warranty, okay, Open so it hasn't warranty, been registered. Hasn't been registered. I probably, I wore it under a handful of times. Babied it, completely babied it, bro. Okay, so here uh, I had a jeweler come in and ask me if this 5711 was real or if it's fake. Um, said the client was getting a banging deal on it. Uh, it's not a banging deal because a watch isn't real. It's a fake watch. And I know this for various reasons. Um, the stampings on the metal here, the color, the thickness of this clasp. If you look at the movement, these jewels are really, really bright pink, um, and the finishing doesn't look like protect finishing. It's supposed to have a thread on crown, and it's just spinning right there. It's no thread on crown. It's just directly winding, and it feels very gritty. doesn't feel like protect quality. Um, when you move it around, it doesn't sound like protect. When you go like this, you can see here, it like almost bends and gets stuck. Look at these links here. You'll never see a protect do this like crazy curve here. The thickness of the case, the color of the dial, it's just completely off. If you look at the clasp, look how thick this clasp is here. This is a 7-Eleven, not a 5711. This is a very common thing that happens. It, they make replica watches or what they call them super clones um, or full aftermarket. For the most part, they usually use at least real 324 uh, Kind of travel movements because the same movement as 5711, but in this one, they didn't even do that. So let's test it to see if it's even real gold on this. So it's 18 karat right there, so it is at least real gold. So I have here a Lady 7118. You can see the color difference. Um, sometimes there is a color difference with the Patek just because of the patina and the oxidation. But if you touch this edge, the edge on the bottom, this obviously has a new class, but even this edge here is not as sharp. So there, just the overall fit and finish of the whole watch 
if you look how the bracelet it curves it doesn't like stack weird like this like look at the links how they fold this one that won't do that if i push it anymore i'm gonna break it but you can see it doesn't it doesn't do that it stays curved so now we're going to compare the metals i already tested this one here you see it's 18 karat with au ag so we got some gold some silver some palladium some zinc and some copper let's check this lady 7118 so it is testing under 18 karat um there can be discrepancies in the machine it is testing a little bit under but as you see here there is no zinc and there's no palladium it's just silver gold and copper so yes it is a watch making it a real watch it is gold so it is a real gold watch but it is a fake patek philippe so there you go we got a real gold 7-eleven here is what we got this is single quick right those are doubles these but are doubles? Looks, that's another thing i have bro that president right there is the mintest pre let me get the key let me get right, the key, I, you gotta give I'm, me a good price though the thing is that those those are I'm your not, daily I'm not, your daily you're not gonna believe this condition. What is it, 90s? From the 90s? With cereal? It's like uh, 89, I think, an 89 or 90. See, old watch from the 90s or late 80s. No, he's not gonna... Look at the condition on the watch. Look at the edges. It looks like it's never been polished. This is a very good watch. Give me a good price and I'll just, take it. Just because of his that condition, it's, it's high. And I don't think it's high. How much? 18,000. Yeah, it's high. It's high. It's a, it's a double quick. Yeah, yeah, it's a little But high. it's high. But this it's one? Just, that one I could do a little better. That one's still gonna be, it's still good condition, but it's still gonna be high. How much? 17,000. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the difference in the condition on the band on an old watch. Look. See, you put it sideways. See? Yeah. Little play that it has. You can't see that when it's on in your hand, but, but look at this one. That's a 30 year old watch right here. And it looks in perfect condition. Very nice. I have a day just there from 89. That's brand new. Brand new with sticker tags and everything. From the 89, yeah. it's crazy. It's a crazy. Yeah, why would you buy a watch and not wear it? I don't get it. I, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. I can't do that. I came to an age in my life where I have to use everything I have. Right? You know, I, I was having to. that conversation with a friend of mine this morning. Why are you going to buy something if you're not going to use it and yeah. enjoy it? That's what and, you buy it for. And that's, for what I'm, that's why I'm using my Chevy. I had it for 10 years and I never drive it. So now I'm driving it three use times it. a week. People's like a show car. I don't care. I'm going to use it. You know why? Tomorrow I'm not here. Charlie's going to get it and do donuts in it. And it's going to mess it up in one week. So I don't know what he's talking about. I never drive recklessly. In a car. Like the chain, bro. Qué linda está. Esto es loco. Esto lo compré ayer. ¿Cuánto? 26. I paid 26. How many carats? 45. A ver, ya la gana eso. No, and it's good diamonds. It's not. I like it, bro. It's not crappy. And I never thought I would like long like this. Let me see. I like it long. I'm, 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 I'm the old school. Uh, like long chains. I don't like the chokers, man. The diamonds are true VS quality, Carly. Nah, nah, the side that they say is true VS. You should let me rock it. I don't know if I could do that anymore. If you want to wear a diamond chain, this is the way to go. Now those big Cubans with a lot of diamonds. I like this right here. Like it a lot. You know what this is? No, are you gonna tell me? You open it. Oh my God. The box. You You're not gonna it. believe it. Another box. Another box. Not the same thing again. Not the same thing again. <laughs> not <Another tap. laughs> Come on. This is like stuck in here. You see? You see what you do? There you go. I know what it is already. Don't you go to the gym? Your employees will take to open a package. IGI certified lab diamonds. Oh, the lab diamonds are fake. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> no. 
lab diamonds aren't fake diamonds. Let me ask you a question. If you want a glass of ice, do you go to the glaciers and iceberg and chip it off because nature made it? Or do you go to your refrigerator? It's still frozen water. It's the same thing. So this is for a customer of mine. Well, actually, it's a very special customer tool. Someone that started with the store since the store was small. Whatever, yeah, it can cool. do that. So these are 1.58, so 1.6, yeah, um, carat. They're like F color, VS1, excellent, excellent, excellent everything else. So Like my wife. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi, Nandi. <laughs> What's that for? You said it's a pair of studs? So it's for, yeah, it's a pair of studs, yeah. So you're nice talking about 1.58, so it's like 3 carat. When you put it together? Almost three carats. Almost so, three carats, oh, and it's no, gonna actually, be like. A little over, more over, a little bit over three carats, yeah. Over uh, three, one, so, six. Exactly, and you're talking about like 4,000, more or less? For three carats? Yeah, that's crazy. So you were telling me you got this in Aspen? Yeah, yeah, Aspen AD. Had a buddy who had a connect there, went down, said he could uh, pick one up. I have no purchase history, and ended up, ended up being able to get one. So pretty and cool. And this is your first watch from the AD? First watch, yeah. Never ever had 15, 5, 10. Was a little shocked. They tried to put me on a Code 11, 59, and an offshore, and I was like, hey, I'm never gonna sell this thing. I only know what I want. It's this one specific watch, and ended up budging and, and pulled it out. That's awesome that they did that for you. But you said, you, what do you, you just talk to them? Did they give you like, yeah, was it a pain? I mean, I had the whole, they gave me the whole show, right? Trying to get me to develop. Um, an early collection, but I think what stood out the most was just representing that I, I keep these watches. I will never, ever, ever sell it. It's sort of being a very intentional collector and uh, ended up ended up pulling it off. How do you like it? You know, a couple of things about it. One, uh, the shine on it is just absolutely incredible. I still think it's the most beautifully designed watch. I was actually a little shocked at how light it is. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not like the feel of a GMT, which of I've course, been yeah. really interested in lately. Um, I have a Sky Dweller and uh, a 2002 Explorer as well, 16570. This is this is what I'm going to be in every single day. That's awesome. I'm actually sourcing one right now for a client, the Polar and the Black. Really? Yeah. One this one. is this is super cool because my dad passed last year. It's actually going to be sorry for your loss, man. Oh, appreciate it. It was actually. Um, just an amazing relationship, so uh, I couldn't be couldn't be happier. But this has so many dents and scratches on it, and it's so cool to be able to wear it now, knowing that my dad put every one of those dents into it. Of course, I mean, he beat the hell out of this. Man, watch you just so put cool. a you just put a big smile on my face. I'm not saying beat the watch to crap and don't take care of it, but yeah, take, enjoy it. Take pride in those little scratches and dents and things and. And be like, this, this is my watch, then, and I worked my ass off to get this, or, or in your case, your your father worked his ass off to get that watch, and and you enjoy it now. So that that's awesome, man. I love to hear that. Surprise, surprise! I'm Ta -da, excited. Ta -da. Ta -da. Uh -oh. Another one. Exciting. I'm excited to sell diamonds. <gasps> oh my god. So the diamond is a two carat cushion lab grown diamond. Excellent car. Excellent, 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 white. everything. White, 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 white. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the Daytona Beach collection. They have a, a, a few colors, and I showed in my previous video a few of them. This is a green one, really nice. I wanna see what the price is, and I don't know, I've been wanting to buy one of them that in perfect conditions. This one has paper. Box and papers. Mm -hmm. Box. How the much? Regular I, box, no, the beach not, not the uh, regular box. Do you know the price? For this one, it uh, can be 75. 75. Mm -hmm. 75,000. This is from the beach collections. They come in how many colors? Four colors. Four colors. I believe it's uh, blue, blue, green, yellow, 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 and pink. And pink. So hot, man. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Let me try it on. Wow. Beautiful piece. Do you know the year? The year for this is 2002. 2002, okay. I'll let you know, my friend, okay? Thank you. So we just purchased a GMT ceramic for the store and uh, also found a watch that I have a client looking for, which is a beach Daytona, and I'll show you guys in the video, so. How you doing, guys? How you doing? That's my birthday gift? Yeah, it's your birthday gift, you knew it. 
<laughs> He's got a GMT for the store, stainless. A GMT? Ceramic. Let me get that. Ceramic, yeah. Let me get that. I think Beautiful. Sandy had a client too for that. It's been a very hectic and busy week, as you saw. Um, I bought that chocolate Daytona yesterday. Sierra already sold it. This is what happens when my father leaves on vacation. We make moves. We make a lot of crazy moves. It's insane. Pick this up for consignment here. It's a stainless smooth bezel Wimbledon. I just purchased this rhodium dial, stainless steel smooth bezel. And then I purchased the exact same watch with a lot of upgrades. So it has a rhodium diamond dial, a fluted bezel, and a jubilee bracelet here. So we just picked these two up. So this is another piece we got on consignment, a rose gold group here. So I got a bunch of Royal Oak APs and even this crazy tourbillon. Look at this here. So it is a sunburst gray rhodium dial rose gold flying tourbillon. My father loves this piece. We got this vampire here. Has a custom aftermarket bezel on it, but we have the factory stainless bezel here. This is how they brought it to me. I have this. This is one of the original AP offshores that you could tell here by the lugs. I got a rubber clad here. Also on consignment, I got a safari, and then I got this offshore panda, I guess you can call it, with this beautiful rubber bee strap. We got eight watches here on consignment, plus the diamond AP, plus the diamond day date, well, with the factory baguette dial. So that's 10 watches on consignment today. And then between today and yesterday, we did three purchases, with one of them already gone, that Monsieur Arm sold. So, very hectic day. I think Carlos should take more vacations. So if you guys need help selling your watches, let us know. We'll consign them. We'll agree upon a price, and we'll go from there. You're so beautiful.